Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathDuck.com and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our Parking Problem Integers game. When you first start the game, you can choose to play the Addition and Subtraction game or the Multiplication and Division game. Within these games, you can choose to play the Easy Levels or the Hard Levels. Let's go ahead and look, take a look at the Addition and Subtraction game and let's go ahead and choose Hard Level. Here's the instructions. Let's skip, skip through that. And uh, so the object of the game is to, to drop these numbers in these slots such that it satisfies this equation which is one number minus a number another number plus another number is equal to negative three now the way you take the numbers over there is by driving this car here parking over one of the numbers and then drive it into one of the slots and parking there and then, then go and picking up the other numbers the way you control the car is with the arrow keys the up arrow makes the car go forward the back the down arrow makes the car go backwards and you steer with the right and left arrows um, this shows you what level you're on this shows you how much time bonus you'll get and as you notice the time will go down as time goes on it'll also go down faster if you run into other objects such as cars or these bushes over here or the curb. This will restart the level. You can see I just clicked it and it restarted everything. This will pause the game. I can either go to the main menu once I pause it or continue the game. This turns the sound on and off. This turns the sound on and off. This turns the music on and off and this starts the game. Okay, let's go ahead and and look at what we need to do on this particular level. So to get negative 15 I can add negative 9 plus a negative 5 gives me a negative 14, minus a 1 gives me a negative 15. So then a negative 9 and negative 5 will have to go in these two slots, and the 1 will have to go in this slot over here. So let's go ahead and pick up the 1, and I'm going to drive over to it, stop, and you notice that once I pick it up, the uh, little numbers, the number is gone, symbol is gone, and it tells me I have a number in the car and that it's equal to 1. And that just kind of helps you in case um, you forget what number's in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in this slot over here because it has to go in this last slot because it's been subtracted. Stop in there. And now I can just get these other numbers. And just actually back into here, see if I can do it. Okay, do that okay. Let's go ahead and get the uh, negative 9. And I'm not quite, there we go. Okay, I didn't think I was over it. Go ahead and go in here and stop the car. And now it, now it confirms that the answer is correct. And we continue on the next level. So that's how you play the addition and subtraction version. Let's go ahead and take a look at the multiplication and division version. Uh, version, yeah. Now, now it plays pretty much the same, but we can go ahead and take a look at it, just give you an idea of what it looks like. And uh, here you have two numbers multiplied by each other, divided by a number is equal to negative 14. So we know that 6 divided by, th I'm sorry, I was thinking division first. So um, what we have here is. Um, negative 7 times 6 is 42 divided by 3 would be uh, 14 and you have a negative in there so it's going to be negative 14 but let's go ahead and verify that let's go ahead and pick up the 6 so we're going to have a ne negative we have 6 in here Let me go ahead and get in there real quick and we have 6 whoa well didn't mean to really pick up that, but we can go ahead and do that. Be sure and get in the proper slot here. And so we should have 6 times a negative 7 is a negative 42. Divided by 3 gives you your negative 14. Let's go ahead and park that. We'll verify that's the right answer. And the easy version uh, typically 
I don't know why I did that. I'm going back and backwards, I guess. Uh, the easier version just has two slots to fill, whereas the has this. The harder version has three slots to fill, and it confirms that six times a negative seven divided by three is equal to negative fourteen. And we have another problem. So uh, that's how you play the addition. I'm, I'm sorry, the multiplication and division game. You see how we play the addition and subtraction game, and uh, that's the integer versions of. Uh, parking problem. We also have a regular version that deals only in positive numbers and that's called parking problems, uh, the parking problem games. Um, I hope you enjoyed playing this game. I hope the video helped a little bit and thanks for watching.